I couldn't find you anywhere, so I thought you'd be here crying. I know I said before that I'll never worry about you, but there are things that I need to get off my chest. If I don't, I'll feel bad. Go ahead and say what you want. I know. You, Dr. Chung, and Dr. Oyang think that Jinke is not a good person and is going through some serious problems. No, I think he's a good person. It's of just course that's that... what you'll say. But think about it carefully, Mong Mong. Has he done anything wrong to you all this time? If he did, then tell me all about it. I know he used to like Dr. Oyang and he was clingy towards her. But when he found out Dr. Oyang has a boyfriend, he started chasing you. And there is nothing wrong with that. He knew he couldn't court Dr. Oyang anymore, so what's the point of chasing after her? I mean, he's a single guy. He failed with a girl, so he started taking his chance by courting another girl. That's just normal. He never did anything inappropriate or mean to you. He's just trying to be romantic to move you. Everybody can see that. He's really serious about you. Although, you might think he's a little immature or overdoing things. Xiao Chan, just get straight to the point. What I'm trying to say is that you should give Jinka a chance. You say that you're rejecting him because he's a bad person, but that's not true. You don't like him because you've already judged him as unsuitable for you. But if you take that away, you'll see he did nothing wrong. Are you saying this so I won't feel guilty about asking him money? You don't have to become his girlfriend to borrow money from him, Mang Mang. I'm saying this because I don't want you to miss an opportunity. Can't you just give it a try? He's single, you're single too. I don't see any problem in that. When he knew your mom's condition, he didn't hesitate to offer you money. How many men are still like him in this generation? You know, there's this couple in the ER. I saw them earlier today. The girl has stomach cancer. Her boyfriend stood proud and said they have to use the best medicine for her. Don't you find that moving? But I really don't love Jinko. You haven't even tried and yet you're already saying that? How can you be so sure that you don't love him when you haven't tried? If you become a couple, you don't need to marry him. If it doesn't work, then break up. You can pay him back, so why are you so hesitant? I really don't understand what you're holding on to right now. But let me remind you, your mom doesn't have long. The patient is stable right now. Mm. Call me if you need anything, mm, okay. okay? Thank you. How is he? She's fine. Good. Thank you, Doc. So please inform him about the things to do after surgery. Take it easy now. What's wrong? It hurts. How painful? Not much. How are you feeling, miss? Uh, I'm okay, thank you. <sighs> She's fine. I'll be right back. You have a good boyfriend there. 
I heard from the nurses that he's taking care of all the medical fees as well. What work does he do? He finished a degree in computer programming. After graduating, he started a company. They do mobile games and stuff. Oh, well, no wonder. He's a big boss, so he always wants the best, huh? Right. He only has three or four employees. He earns money, but not much. He works hard. I know how much money he has. To him, 150000 is a huge amount. I'm sure that after this, he'll be poorer than a beggar. Okay, so why didn't you ask help from your family? My parents got divorced when I was still young. My dad remarried when I was in college, not long after my mom did too. I'm not wanted on both sides. I haven't talked to them for a very long time. It's not easy to live on your own. It's a tough life. But I'm not living alone. I have Feng Lei. Being with him is my home. That's nice. So how long have you known each other? Four years? Four months. Just four months? Mm-hmm. When I met him, I felt like the luckiest girl. That's true. I think you are a very lucky girl. Well, I'll leave you so we can rest, okay? Thanks for talking to me. No, the pleasure's mine. She's sleeping right now. Thank you, Doctor. I want to ask you something. Have you thought about the fact you've known each other for only four months? So what if, in the end, you broke up and didn't get married? You spent all your money in saving her. Is it worth it? That's still in the future. The present is important. I'll donate my organs if she needs it. And I won't regret anything, even if we break up. We were given a chance to be in love with each other, and that's what matters. I will be thankful for the happy days we spent together. Money to cover mom's surgery. Tomorrow? I promise. Your boyfriend left to get money? Mm hmm. 150,000 is a huge amount. My condition really makes it hard for him. Okay, you're stable. Go get some rest. Mm. I heard that they're in a relationship for only four months. Do you think her boyfriend will get that amount for the treatment? It's possible that he'll run away, right? I don't think so. Zhang Shig and I dated recently, but if I got sick, I know he would do anything for me. Is that the same thing? Your boyfriend owns four mountains. A couple of hundred thousands means nothing to him. <sighs> You're so lucky. You call me lucky, but he's so dumb. Isn't that an advantage? Then you can take care of the money for him. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell me you're just showing him off. Of course I'm not. If your intention is to brag about him, it means you're only taking him for granted. Come to think of it, there's someone in the ER department who isn't like that. Who's that? So Ye Meng. You know, a rich and handsome guy like him isn't easy to find, but she turned him down. Ah, uh, so you want her to be with Jin Ke, huh? So Wangbo could be all yours. Do you still think I have a chance with him? I think so. Really? Yeah. Hi. Have you seen Zoe Yimang? Mm, 
no, we haven't. I haven't seen her today, and her parents don't know where she is. Oh, well, I'll ask someone else. <sighs> Seeing him like that makes me think I have no chance. Hey, do you think I should change targets? What? Hey. Did you find her? Not yet. So, where do you think she went, huh? Hey, huh? Do you know where Zuyimon went? No idea. How about you, Xiao Chen? I don't know either. Mm, but could she be... No, that's impossible. Mm. Why are you all staring like that? I was just guessing. Believe me, I don't know. Then just tell us where you guess she went, huh? Well, I guess... I really don't know. I was making stories in my mind. Mm. She didn't come back last night because she was with her mom. And I swear that's the last time I saw Zhu Yimeng. How come I get the feeling that you're not telling the truth? Can you shut up? If I knew, why wouldn't I tell you? <sighs> Guys, I need your help. Her condition deteriorated. Where's Zhu Yimeng? I don't know. We can't find her. Did you try calling her? I did, but it's off. Then keep calling. She <gasps> doesn't need to yell at me. I'm worried too. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not available. It's still off. I... what... Enjoy your food. Let's have a toast, so we can celebrate our first date. I need to get back to the hospital so I can't drink. Mm. It's okay. You don't need to drink today. I brought you here because I want to ask you something. Do you really mean what you said before? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Miss Zhou, I really like you. I sincerely want to help you and your mom with the payment. But I don't want you to think that I'm using the money to make you like me. I just really want to help you. Mr. Jin, you're a good person. I was really moved by the efforts you did for me. That's why I think that, that I should give you a chance. Really? Zoyima, these represent my love. I will be yours forever. This card has 200,000. If the money's not enough, just let me know. These are my feelings. Are you willing to accept them? Look at him, he's so romantic. I'm like someone. <laughs> he's just filthy rich. I called Director Zhao from Eurosurgery. According to him, we can't wait any longer. Excuse me, but what about the fees? Dr. Chong, can I borrow your car? What for? I'm gonna talk to my dad. Director, I need to step out. Slow down in the drinking. You might choke, all right? I'm really mad. I need to calm down. Who took you off? It's not that. I just feel guilty. You know how people look at doctors? Like we can control life and death. But we can't really control anything. We're useless. Where did you get that? Who said we can control life and death? 
We're just doctors. We save people only within the boundaries of our abilities. We're not gods, so don't think that you're omnipotent, okay? Spider-Man said with great power comes great responsibility. Thus, we doctors can't handle much responsibility. Seriously, Spider-Man? Cheng Jin, can't you be a little more useful? What? I'm helping you. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been buying vegetables here for a year, and still not a single discount? <sighs> I only deliver them. I can't give discounts. I don't decide on the prices. Hold on. We'll continue later. Hey, Dad. Son. Why'd you come so suddenly? Dad. And whose car is this? It's Dr. Chung's. Where's your car? I sold it. Sold it? Yeah, I sold it. The engine kept breaking down. The repair fees weren't enough to buy me a new car. How much did you get? Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five? Oh. Your monthly allowance is five thousand for living expenses. If I divide it, I don't need to give you allowance for five months. Dad, I came here today to ask you for more money. Ask more money? What will you do with that amount? Actually, Dad, my friend has a problem. Zhou Yimang, she was the tall girl with glasses and long hair last dinner. Do you remember her? I think so, yes. The one your mom likes. Dad, it's about her mother. She has a brain tumor. Their family's not rich, so they can pay the fees. I want to help her as a good classmate and a friend. Well, 25,000 was not enough? No, Dad, we need at least 200,000 bucks. 200? Dad, you'll help, right? Please, Dad, 150 is what? enough. 150,000? Huh? My son, do you have any idea how much blood and sweat we have shed for that amount of money? I know, Dad, but her mother's life is at stake. Hmm. Why, Xiao Chang? Is she your girlfriend? No, Dad. Why would you think that? She is a nice girl. And you're doing this for her. Dad, can't you find the heart to help? This is not about having sympathy, son. This is a life lesson. You already sold your car. What else can you do? As a friend, colleague, or classmate, you've helped them more than you should. You're helping them beyond your capabilities. You are a doctor. Situations like these happen a lot. Do you think you can save everyone? You are not a saint for crying out loud. Even if you want to save everyone, can you do that? Dad, we don't have much time. The neurosurgeon said that we have to proceed with the surgery right now. Come on, Dad. Please, Dad. You're so concerned about your friend. You're such a good kid. Right? You need help? All right. How about this? Instead of begging, why don't you go back to work and leave now? Hi, Mom. Ah, uh, hi, son. You visited. It's urgent. I need the bank card that I gave you. Sure. Wait here. I'll go get it. Have a drink first. Uh. How much is in here? I checked a few days ago. Around 50,000. All your salary is in there. I never spend it. And, um, Mom... How much money do you have? Well, I have a few savings. It's for your house when you get married in the future. How much is that? Probably a hundred thousand. Please, let me use it now. My son, why do you need that much money? It's an emergency, so please don't ask too many questions. Oh, you came for a visit, Dad. Oh, it's a good thing you're here. Your son came back and suddenly wants to get all our money without explanation. Wang Bo, what's going on here? Are you buying a house? Can you two stop asking me? It's an emergency. I need it as soon as possible. What's going on? Please. Here you go. Take it. 
go on. Thank you very much. Dr. Chung, how can my dad be like that? What's the matter? I think he's right. How is he right? Listen, being kind is a good thing, because I too am a kind person. But being kind also has limitations. Remember, you have to act within your means. You can help, but you need to help efficiently. That's the key to kindness. But I don't intend to help other people right now. I just want to help Zhou Yi Mao. You don't think I want to help? Everyone wants to help her. But are they acting like you, huh? You're young, but that doesn't mean you can be so impulsive. So what do I do? Stand by and watch? That's not what I'm trying to say. We just have to think of something. You don't need to. What do you mean, we don't need to? Dr. Wang, what are you looking for? Where's Zoe Yimong's mom? Oh, Zoe Yimong came back and we transferred her to a private room. A private room? room? Yes. Is she crazy? That's expensive. Zhu Yimong already paid for all her mother's medical fees when she came back. Where'd she get the money? You mean she had a gold card and paid 200000 in full? What? Private room fee, surgery fee, post-treatment. She paid for everything. Where did the money come from? I don't know. Jin Ka. It has to be Jenka. What do you think? I've been thinking about it. He's the only person in mind. Oh, no. I have to talk to Zhu Yimang. Why do you need to go and talk to her? Then can you tell me why she took Jenka's money? Huh? Because if she did take it, then she's not just a friend. Who is Jenka to Yimang anyway? He seems like he's up to no good. There must be a scheme behind all this. I think you're wrong, Dr. Chung. And how am I wrong? You're saying that because you're friends with Dr. Wang and you don't like Jinka. But try to remember if Jinka did anything wrong. I know he liked Dr. Oyang before, but what? Did he try to steal her? Think about it. Uh, uh, Actually, I don't think it's bad at all. Uh, uh. <sighs> Dr. Chung, are you gonna talk to her? No way. Then too bad for Dr. Wang. Rest assured, we've scheduled the first surgery for your mom tomorrow. I'll do the operation. Uh, thank, thank you, you very thank much, you. No doctor. problem. We'll be leaving now. Just contact Dr. Chai in case. Of course. Mm, thank you. Uh, thank you. Come with me. We need to talk. Do you love him? You're just using him? You saw my mother. I had no other choice. Jinko is a nice guy. He said he really likes me. And he's not trying to force me. I paid back by giving him a chance. I want to try to be with him. Can't I do that? So you can just try being in love? I never expected to hear that from you. I'm so disappointed. You're now selling yourself to him and it hurts me to see you like that. What other choice do I have? My mother is dying each day. I can't stand seeing her suffer. I don't know what to do. I'm running out of options. Option? I'll give you an option. This is my card. There's 200,000 in it. Take it. Junko likes you, and I like you too. 
I can lend you money too. But remember, the decision is up to you. Who will you choose? Aren't you going to console him? How can I do that? Tell me. <sighs> hey, um, do you want to talk about it? No, thanks. Yo, Chan, let's do rounds. Hey, let's go too. I'm coming too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you okay? The more I feel like this, the more I need to be busy. That style again? Can't you think of anything else? Heart rate and blood pressure are normal. And then when the trip's done, you can take him to eat something. Okay. Mm. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm doing fine. By the way, we spoke to the director regarding your surgery. The sooner we do it, the better. It might complicate things if we delay. Can you contact your boyfriend about this? Oh. Uh. Sorry, the number you have dialed is unavailable. Sorry, the number you have dialed is unavailable. What's wrong? Power off. His phone is off. Don't tell me he... Well, don't worry too much. Maybe he's just busy. He must have forgotten to charge his phone. Get some rest, okay? Call me if you need anything. Dr. Chung, thank you for looking after me. No problem, ma'am. When you get home, make sure. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You still need to eat, mm. even if you're busy. All right. It doesn't need to be a lot, but you can't skip, okay? I will. Thanks, Dr. Chung. I will take good care of my sister. <laughs> and be sure to have six hours of sleep now. Mind if I sit down? So are you still worried about the money? Dr. Wong gave me this. He said there's 200,000 in it. Hmm. I don't know what to do right now. Um, it looks like Wang Bo went all out, huh? Recently, he went out to his parents' place. That must be theirs. Dr. Chung, what do you think I should do? The only one who can answer that question is you, Yimang. But I really don't know what to do. Hmm. There was a time Miss Lin and I were chatting. She told me that everyone's heart is occupied by a person. Otherwise, you'll feel empty. But once someone is in there, you can't accept anyone else. Either you let them stay, or let yourself move on. Why are you telling me this, Dr. Chung? You need to ask yourself, is your heart empty, or is it occupied by someone else? Because if it's empty, either Jin Ke or Wang Bo will do. It doesn't matter. You can wholeheartedly accept their help, because you don't feel anything for them. But if, and only if, um... And I'm not saying there is. But if your heart is occupied, it will be hard to accept the other. You'll probably feel guilty. You can't take their money. You know you can't repay their feelings. You know, sometimes I think that Wang Bo gets what he deserves. 
I told him that if he likes you, he doesn't need to hide it. He's lectured you a lot. Probably even more than Uyana's lectured Xiao Chan. <clears throat> the way he expressed love was not romantic. He just said it. He didn't make any follow-ups either. But you know, you're weird too, just like him. After knowing that he likes you, you acted like nothing happened at all. That's because I don't know how to respond to him. So I acted like nothing happened to make things simpler. <laughs> so that's why. But that will not solve your problem. If he requires you to answer back then, I mean if you just rejected him outright, told him there's no chance, then you wouldn't be so troubled right now. On the other hand, if you accepted him, then you wouldn't be so torn right now. Am I right? Hey, um, let's say what if. Wang Bo push you in a corner, and he won't let you go until you give him an answer. What would you say? You have two choices. Would you accept him? Or will you reject him? Uh, I don't know. I think you know the answer already. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'm leaving. Bye-bye. I already know? Lue, you can't leave the hospital. <laughs> Come on, just let me leave the hospital! I don't want a cure. I don't have money. Just wait one more day. Be patient, okay? Even if he did run off, you can approach your parents. They can't turn you away. Stop talking like you know my life. I would contact them if I could. So just let me go. Okay? Wait! <laughs> Dr. Wang. Just be patient. He's not coming back. Are you sure about that? I think he's trying hard for you. He won't leave you here. Can't you wait? Why can't you wait longer? Is that all of the patience you have? Do all women have little patience? Just one more night. Just one more day, huh? Aren't you thinking what your boyfriend might be doing right now? He might be trying hard to get the money, but you're now leaving him? What will he think? Dr. Wang. I'm sorry. Don't say that to me. You should say that to him. Say what to who? <gasps> Why are you here? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Why weren't you answering your phone? There wasn't much money in the account. I went out to collect debts. The money's on the floor. My bad luck had the worst timing. I lost my phone, and I don't even know where. have doubted you. Aren't you mad at me? Won't you hit me? Bite me? <laughs> Since when did I ever get mad at you? <sighs> That's great. You have the money. So you should go pay the fees now. All right. I'll do that. Mm. Thank you, doctor. Ah, go on. Let's go. See that? All he had was loose cash. He must have worked hard to get that much money for her. <laughs> He's a good man. He should learn from him. <laughs> I don't need to. He should learn from me instead. <laughs> I'm the better guy. <laughs> oh, look who's Mr. <laughs> Arrogant. You have a perfect life because you have a boyfriend to take care of you and a loving mom who brings you lunch. Aren't you lucky too? I share all the lunch I get with you. <laughs> Learning from you is the greatest honor that could happen to me. You know what? I think you're cuter when you're not trying to flatter me. But I really mean it. You're so kind to me, so I can't help but say it. There's no talking back. <laughs> okay. You're off duty. Why are you here? It's boring there alone. And besides, I chose to stay here with you guys. You should be honored. 
Oh, I get it. You want to drown yourself with work so you can forget the void in your heart. Oh, Shao-chan, it would be better if you kept your mouth shut. Yes! <gasps> I'm sorry to say this, Dr. Wang. Please stop doing that. It's scary. Life is so good, and I did it! Dr. Ouyang, should we call a psychiatrist now? It's about time you go there. Where's Zoe Yiman? I don't know, why? Wait, aren't you off duty? Why are you still... Hey! Dr. Trump, look at that! Hey, look over there. Where did you put the money I gave you? On Jinko's card. I went out to get the card back with the money in it. You had many accomplishments, but I've never been so proud. You've been my teacher for so long, and you've taught me a lot of things. I know that I don't stand a chance, but why are they doing this in front of me? This is just too cruel. <laughs> hey, have you seen Wang Bo anywhere? He's acting unusual. It's not unusual. It's actually great. Wow. What's all this? So that's why. Who would have known? This is a good plot twist. Do you want some snacks? What is this, a movie? <laughs> <laughs> ER department, Dr. Cheng here. What? Okay, got it. Bad news. Have you eaten? Want to grab something? Mm, but I want to see my mom first. I'll go with you. Zhu <laughs> Something's wrong! <sighs> Dr. Zen. What's happening to her? It's developing too fast. I got here as soon as I received the news. Can we perform an immediate operation like this? We can't do anything while she's in epileptic seizure. We need to control the seizure first before proceeding. We gave her meds and created an airway. Then we'll determine if operation is possible. Mom! Mom, wake up! Mom, please open your eyes. I'm here. Yimung. Mom, tell me what's happening here. Yimung. Just calm down, okay? You need to stay strong. Mom, please, you need to wake up. Mom. Mom. Yes. Please leave the room. Take her out of the room. This is bad. Defibrillate. It's okay, you just stay strong, all right? Yimang! Yimang! Charge, 360. 360. 